हम उस वक्त यहाँ पे मिक्स मार्शल आर्ट सिखा रहे थे जब भी यहाँ पे बम फट रहे थे लोग एक दूसरे से डर रहे थे कि कोई दस बंदे जहाँ पे इकट्ठे हो जाते हैं वहाँ पे बम चल जाता है पाकिस्तान में इतने गलत गलत हालात थे यहाँ पे इतने मुश्किल थे लेकिन हमने फिर भी बस गेम को आगे आगे लेके जाने की कोशिश की है कि बस हमने ये सिखाना है और ये बनाना है और बना रहे हैं इनशाला बाकी आपके सामने है जो watching on Star Sports in that part of the world when well, you're looking at the man that they call the pioneer of mixed martial arts in your country like the first step you know to me like going to to one of seeing competing like you know it's like it's the most prestigious event in, in Asia it's the biggest event in Asia that was kind of it kind of sealed the deal of everything else we'd be doing here in in Pakistan you know? it was like the one chapter or maybe like one book in the trilogy had finished you know and now the next steps you know and the next phase is, is about to begin that's, that's how i see it after ever since i came back i've been talking with like a decent number of sponsors and people really interested in being involved in the sport and what i tell them is like right now you have a lot of inertia you know you got this like subculture this community that's like bubbling and it's got all this energy now all we need is just a little bit of resources to light that match and really you know just have things take off she saw america se aaye the pakistan mein inhone ek academy banayi aur chhota sa ek tournament kwa jisme fighter ladke usme fight ki aur maine dekha maine kaha maine bhi yahi seekhni hai sikhai hai aur apne chote bhaiyon ki tarah baithunge jaise mujhe rakha rakha hai aur mere liye har cheez mujhko di hai gloves ho gaye sports mein jo bhi cheeze istemal hoti hain wo sari cheeze bashir sahab ne apne paas se de sari cheeze apne paas se di hai So Bashir, where are we headed right now? We are going to the apartment where it all started. started. Yeah, where it all started. I I'm like uh I lived in this apartment for about 9 months. It was the first MMA gym in Pakistan and it was also my home. I mean like it was pretty bare bones. It was just like a heavy bag there and like the mats, like we made these homemade mats. We brought some some stuff from Karachi from like a industrial market. Mm-hmm. Like they make shoes with these mats and stuff and yeah, we just laid them down and uh we did jujitsu on them and we also slept on them at night. Yeah. I want this to be a phenomenon. You know, I I I I I'd like to guide it in a certain direction. um but uh other than that i want people to do this everything on their own and start like and they should like said i just want it to be a, just a phenomenon that people are you know it just kind of springs out of nowhere yeah so here's the place and downstairs are the real estate people who are pretty good friends with जिम चलाते थे यहाँ पर ये जब आए हैं फर्स्ट टाइम तो मैंने इनको यहाँ पर सेकंड फ्लोर लेकर दिया था और ये सारी डिस्कशन थी कि हमने ये यहाँ पर जिम स्टार्ट करना है तो अब माशाल्लाह वहाँ भी अल्लाह ताला ने काफ़ी और काफ़ी अच्छा चल रहा है तो लोगों ने कोई शिकायत नहीं की वगैरह यहाँ के जो मोहल्ले टाइप अगर कोई हुई भी है तो वो मैं हमने खुद फेस किया है और उनको खुद ब्रीफ कर कर हमने उनको क्लियर किया है क्या ब्रीफ दी आपने मतलब भी ये अच्छी है गेम है इसमें मतलब आपकी एक्सरसाइज भी है और आप लोगों को एक टेक्निक्स भी आ रही हैं फाइट्स के लिए तो अपनी सेविंग के लिए हमारे पास ये वर्क बहुत अच्छा है भी था ना जिसने हमारा केज वगैरह खेद दिया था कि ये नहीं होएगा मोहल्ले में पहले बट यू हैव गो इन जुलाई वी We had a, we stored we were storing a cage on a, on a rooftop in a neighborhood. That's the only place that we could find that would fit the cage and was you know we could afford really. Because here we want to rent. But the owners didn't know that we were renting here. So when we had the cage and fit it, the rent for the world started to come. People were coming and people were coming. And people were coming. The neighbors were coming. Everything was coming. What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? What was the reason why the cage was put here? the office we have a, a name for each of our uh, gyms and this one was the office
Right now, Lahore is the center of MMA in, in Pakistan. Um, and it, I mean, it's cool because you know, I'm here and I get to see everything that's going on, but it, it's not helping speed up the process for the entire country, you know? Uh, because we had some of the toughest guys we have are like out in the mountains and the deserts, you know, uh, living their tribal lives, you know, like there's some hard, hard people. Uh, you know, guys who are watching my fight, you know, like around the world are like, yeah, that's, you know, Pakistani spirit and I'm covered in blood and like, you know, uh, these guys have more spirit than I do, you know, these, these guys are killers, man. You know, when the, once we can bring these like guys out, you know, uh, or like guys in like Karachi who are like in like the slums there, you know, like hard, hard dudes, people have been watching, people get shot like, you know, in their neighborhoods on a daily basis and can challenge maybe that angst, that energy that they have uh, or and turn that negativity into something positive, you know, we're going to get some, some really, really good fighters out of here. Pakistan can be proud of Bashir Ahmed, his first fight in 1FC, and he's done a whole nation proud. Right, so people have been hearing about MMA in Pakistan a lot in the States and elsewhere. It's come up on a global scale. But the Veshi League is a little bit different in terms of like what the VCL is about, what the VCL is about. Yeah. You talk about that. What makes it different? What makes it similar? All right. Well, Bag MMA is just the organization which we are promoting uh, mixed martial arts. VCL is merely a venue where we uh, promote competition. So it's a venue where people can come together and test their metal. We're not just bringing, uh, we're not just promoting the sport. We just bring fighters together so they can test each other out. So we make uh, different rules, different situations where they can test each other. We don't want to be just the same generic set of uh, only mixed martial arts, that's it. The word Veshi roughly translates into wild or animalistic, if you like. But our philosophy isn't just to become let loose like an animal. Our philosophy is that, you know, we c in every single person there is a wild animal. Yeah. There is a savagery. There is an instinct to be let a beast out. We have a beast inside of us. How's your party? But what's important with the, our concept, our philosophy, is that you control that animal. You keep it contained, you let it out when you order it, but you control it when you order it as well. So, like our tagline, is supposed to be empower savagery. From now begin, in this corner, weighing 60 kilos, coming out of Model Town Gym, Omar Basra. In this corner, coming out of Synergy, weighing 62 kilos, diamond in the rough, Snowball Raja. ਕਾਫੀਆਂ <laughs> I'm a gold medalist. I'm a gold gold medalist. I'm a 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 एक काम आगे गेम करना होता है पीछे चार काम पीछे घर के पड़े हो पेंडिंग पड़े हो ये काम करो वो काम करो बाकी ये है कि इंशाल्लाह ये अगर फ्यूचर में ये अगर प्लेयर को कुछ दिया जाए जैसे बार कम में दिया जाता है मिसाल लाख लाख रुपए 50000 रुपए भी दे प्लेयर आगे जाता है ठीक कम से कम बैठ के परस खर्चा दे दे कोई मसला नहीं है द विनर बाय 1 पॉइंट बाय 1 पॉइंट 
रिजल्ट है बदल जाती हुई है नजर आ रहा सामने नजर अगर वीडियो चेक की जाए तो रिजल्ट नजर आती है पता नहीं क्यों बहरा अच्छी गेम थी मेरी भी उसकी भी अच्छी थी Yes, that was a pretty crazy fight. Yeah, she did you enjoy that? Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it quite a bit, especially uh the last one. Yeah, the, yeah. The dude from Bindi versus the Jack. Jack, yeah, Jack Saab. He's a uh, he's an old guy on the scene. He's uh, he's, he's been doing wushu for a while. So, he's got Strong. a pretty decent he's got a decent amount of experience and he's in very good shape. He's course. a gold medalist. Uh I I don't know. He likes to talk a lot. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's one of those guys who likes to talk a lot. Yeah. He's a gold medalist, probably bodyguard to Benazir and Nawaz Sharif and been doing martial arts since okay. partition. Whoa. You know, <laughs> stuff that doesn't really add up that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. He's he's a nice guy, but he just likes to talk a lot. And where are we headed now? We are headed to what is known as a dungal. Now, dungal is like uh, in traditional Kushti or Pilwani. It's uh, it's just like a competition. This is one of the smaller ones. This is kind of like the you know the junior guys who are up and coming uh where they'll uh be competing um oftentimes we'll have uh like in the old city like I mean, you'll you'll fill up a stadium with like 6 7000 people you know on on a weekend just to come watch wrestling this is the hotbed of wrestling in the, in the country and we've worked with uh wrestlers uh, before in fact when i first arrived here like i made a beeline to the akardas in like establish relationships with them and what i one thing that i hope to come out of uh, mma spreading in pakistan is also resurgence of the wrestling culture uh so that's something i'm really sad to see uh in its decline so this is my coach my right, wrestling man. coach nadeem name uh right, he's been part of the mma scene here for a number of years okay. uh and uh he's one of the very few coaches that i have complete trust in how long have you been coaching uh i think from the beginning i i was coaching him since last Two years, yeah, and uh, during the fight, I coached him uh, like uh, two or three months. The, the wrestling behind us is a tradition from the Punjab, not all over in Pakistan. It's a, a mud wrestling, you can say it, mud wrestling. It's uh, only in Indian Punjab, in Pakistani Punjab. So our tra tradition, you can say, it's uh, the second uh, most favorite sports uh, in Pakistan after cricket. In the traditional wrestling, it's like to just to pin once and the fight is over. And a pin is when both shoulders are on the, the ground. The both both shoulders. Sometimes the shoulders are not on the ground, but you are in the danger position. The fight is over. Salwani, so yeah, ab yeah. bhai, kisi ko show ko, to wo karta hai, jiske ko jaas ho, to jaas na ho, to wo nahi karta tar. Ye bhi karta hai, mehnat jo karega, wo hi upar jaega. Jo mehnat karega na, wo hi Salwan banega, wo ho koi nahi bane. इंशाल्लाह मैं कोशिश कर रहा हूँ बाहर के मुल्कों को भी हराने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ मैं बात ये है जो स्पोर्ट होती है वो बहुत चीज़ होती है स्पोर्ट के ऊपर नहीं सिफारिश हो तो फिर जाता है Fuck! What a day! A yeah, day. <laughs> what a long day! What a yeah. Long day. So, what's going on now at the gym? Yeah, we got a smoker going on. Yeah, submission grappling, uh, boxing, kickboxing, MMA, and it's just all for new guys to get some experience. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Cool. All, right. all right, let's check it out. All right, let's check it out. I feel a lot of momentum. Uh, I feel a lot of excitement, like with people. People are uh, are really happy that you know that we got represented out there. Like uh, the most uh, the com most common thing that I hear is that people were really really happy to see the flag raised. Yeah, like that that is by far the most uh, common comment that I've heard, and th that actually it really like touches me because if they were like, oh, we're so happy that you won, she'd buy. That's just about me. But when when they when they said that like we were we were so most happy when the flag was raised, that means that like I really touched. Like, well, not not me, but that situation touched a lot of people's hearts, and and, and hopefully inspired a lot of people, and and gave people pride because uh, when I when I went in there, that's what I was telling a lot of the journalists, and that like I want to make 180 million people happy, if, you know, like that's that's the main thing because over here, you know, you know, you've been here, uh, the guys film all day, see powers going out, the traffic is crazy, and you know, country's like you know not in good shape, so anything I can do to put a smile on people's face and. Make them feel proud of their country. Like that's that's like the best thing. Ever. Your whole existence here is an existence of frustration. You know, oh, there's no more water in the tanky. Go okay, you go down, 
to turn on the motor, which brings the water up. The motor's not working because the freaking plug is fried. Got to tape, you know, do a whole little thing. Have like this trail of wires from your extension. All these extension cords going from the roof down to the motor, and then the power goes out. Now, we've trained uh, by candlelight in here before. We've trained by mobile phone light. You know, everyone's like, okay, uh, power's gone out. Everybody, get your, turn your mobiles on. Put them all over the place, and we just keep going on training. <laughs> We are in Lahore, Pakistan, and we're about to witness Pack Fight Club 3. Right now, today, I'm kind of busy getting all this stuff uh, together. We've got a small MMA community um, that's growing, and we've got a die-hard group that uh, we help organize the events. So this is the cage, the first MMA cage in Pakistan. We have eight fights tonight, four of which are going to be in a bantamweight tournament uh, for the first uh, Pack Fight Club bantamweight uh, champion. And uh, it's looking good. Things are getting uh, better uh, year by year. Uh, organization is getting better, the amount of people that we have to help us is, uh, is getting better, resources are getting better, and so is exposure and awareness. So we'll see how tonight turns out. To get a background on what's going to happen tonight, so you are fighting... Avesh Shah. Avesh Shah. And what happened last time? Put me to sleep. You get a bit cocky and start running after him with my hands down. Yeah. Spins and... Uh... And he gets knocked out. Yeah, I was there, I was refing. It, it, it looked like he got shot with a gun. I was like, no, wait, is he gonna get back up? And, and like, then, no, no yeah, wait, no, wait, wait. I had to stop the fight. So what's gonna happen tonight? Uh, no predictions. Yeah. You cannot say anything because yeah. I'm prepared, he's prepared. Yeah. And uh, we'll see whatever happens. So here, you can get the step here. Meet your thoughts with your thoughts. Good luck. After that, you can take it here. Okay? Okay. Let me check. Okay, 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 let me check. Okay. I began my professional MMA career here in Pack Fight Club. My first professional fight was in Pack Fight Club. Uh, and uh, Pack Fight Club is a way for many of these new guys coming up to work their way up the international ladder and possibly fight in one FC themselves. In fact, our bantamweight tournament tonight, the winner of the tournament, which will be determined at Pack Fight Club 5, will get, along with the championship belt, a one FC contract. So that should give some added incentive to uh, fighters tonight in the bantamweight uh, tournament. Uh, right now, Fazan is uh, wasting his yeah. time. Vakar knows this. He's going to relax. He's going to get his head out, and this is probably going to end in a rear naked choke. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, uh, not saying anything bad about Fazan, but we've seen uh, this happen a lot. Yeah, yeah, Vakar. exactly, exactly, exactly. And, uh, you know, as I was talking about in the earlier fights, you know, um, this is a position we see too much of. This guy is holding on to his head, and there's somebody on his back. You know, he really should yeah. be thinking about and something yeah, it's else. Over, it's, it's, it's over. over. It's over. Totally so like predicted. Not, yeah, it's not going to uh, take too long. Yeah, Wakar has. Oh, he's actually doing it with one hand. Yeah, oh, good, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Quick night for Wakar Ahmed and his opponent. That's a signature uh, winning move. Yeah. 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 Excited, Ali? Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Ready? Always seems focused. I mean, we can't see Lumi, but always yeah, yeah, seems focused. Yeah, man, I bet both guys are focused. Ready? Fight! Go! Uh, so Abyss is confident. Okay, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's kind of cocky. Yeah, kind of cocky. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it could, it could mess up with his opponent, and you can yeah. see the crowd going wild. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh and 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 and. Oh. oh good, good take down. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is he going down? But no, he didn't go down. But yes. You know, he just gotta move the outside. Look, he's outside. There you oh, go. Like, like, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Okay. Now he's going. Now he's going after him. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna see. Like last time, I was actually pretty impressed with Ovesa's ground game. Uh, and uh, surprised that uh, Alumi wasn't being more dominant in, uh, on the last fight in VCL too. He kind of. 
uh, was in a bit of a bad spot and came from behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pulled off the goosey. Yeah. Check. Total domination by Alumi right now. Yeah, so far, definitely, definitely. Ali, no controversy. Oh. Like, I know, I know. yeah, all right, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying like, don't, 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 yeah, don't, don't uh, stop it until you see somebody going out. Okay. Right. Forward. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. You know. oh, oh, nice yeah, Superman nice punch. Nice and I think Oasis hurt. Yeah, it looks Oasis like it is hurt, hurt, man. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, oh dude, yeah. Yeah. Oasis yeah. Is taking it. Oh, okay. I think this fight, yeah. This yeah. fight is over, yeah. yeah. All right, that's all good. Yeah. Is that the round or the fight? It's the fight. No, no, it's the round. Oh, it's the round. It's the round. All right, this is the third and final round. Are you ready? Fight! Again, like, uh, Ovish, us, the one who's gonna pull it out of nowhere, you know? Oh, 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 I didn't oh. Hurt him, like, he's hurt. That, yeah, he's definitely he's hurt. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. this looks like it might be yeah, close yeah. to being he's over. He's not intelligently defending him, so he's yeah. just like, trying, oh, okay. Yeah! yeah. Uh, for sure, man, is uh, like another brother to me. He's like other than the charm for me. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. So thank you very much, Mr. No, thank you. Great yeah, I love you. Uh, I love you too. And uh, I want to like, I want to, uh, want to like, like All right. thank my. So team. you got to see what's going on with MMA here in Pakistan. Uh, okay, brother, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Spread the word. Uh, you know, we need the MMA community support, we need the Pakistani community support, and uh, enjoy the show. Bye bye. <laughs>